Hello everyone, today we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions. Recall that in order to add and subtract fractions, you need a common denominator. The LCD, in the case of rational polynomials, is the product of each prime factor in the denominator raised to the highest degree. So we're going to do an example of just finding the LCD first. So you have 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 1, 3 over x squared minus 1, 8x plus 1 over x squared minus x. So in order to find the product of each prime factor, we have to factor our denominators. I'm not going to spend too much time on actually doing the factorization here, because we talk about that in other um, sections. So I'm just going to go ahead and factor it for you. So our first one becomes x minus 1 squared. Our second one is x minus 1 times x plus 1, and our third is x times x minus 1. So to find the LCD, again, we're going to look at each prime factor. So the different factors that we have are x minus 1. We have it three times. The highest degree we have it is squared. We also have an x plus 1. The highest power is just 1. And then we also have an x, and again, the highest degree there is 1. So if we put that together, we have x minus 1 squared times x plus 1 times x. So that is the LCD. So now we're going to do a full one of actually adding and subtracting the fractions. So we have 3y over y squared plus 5y plus 6 plus 2 over y squared plus y minus 2. So again, the first thing we have to do is factor them. Okay, these um, factorizations aren't too bad, right? You want two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to 5, so that's 2 and 3. And then for the other one, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 2 and add to 1, so that's 2 and negative 1. And again, for our LCD, we have the factors y plus 2 raised to the 1, y minus 1, and y plus 3. So y plus 3 times y plus 2 times y minus 1. The next thing we have to do is write our fractions as something over our LCD. So in the intermediate steps, I'm just going to simplify the denominator to LCD versus writing it out the whole time. So we look at, for our first fraction, what we have, y plus 3, y plus 2, and what we need. So we have the y plus 3, we have the y plus 2, we need the y minus 1. So our numerator becomes our 3y times y minus 1. For our second one, we have the y plus 2, we have the y minus 1. So we need the y plus 3. So we end up with 2, our original numerator, times the y plus 3. Okay, Just like you would do with normal fractions. If I was going to add, say, 2 over 15 plus 3 over 5. right? Our LCD here would be 15. 2, I already have. 5, I need to multiply by 3 to get 15. So I'd multiply 3 by the other 3. Okay, so this is the exact same thing you did back in, you know, third or fourth grade when you started adding fractions. Just now, instead of numbers, we've got binomials. And then we actually do the addition. So make sure you're distributing. So we have 3y squared minus 3y plus 2y plus 6. And we can combine our middle terms to get this guy. Our last step would be to check it. Can we factor it? Okay, can we simplify it? So I look at my numerator, 3y squared minus y plus 6, and I ask myself, are there two numbers that multiply to 3 times 6, so 18, and add to negative 1? The answer to that is no. So I can't factor it, so I can't simplify it, so this is my final answer. So let's try another one. 2 over x plus 2 minus 3 minus x over x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x. 
there's only one of these that I can simplify, or that I can factor. So if I do that, and my x squared plus 2x becomes x times x plus 2. So there's the GCF of x. My LCD is, I have a factor of x plus 2, and I have a factor of x. So my LCD is x times x plus 2. The highest exponent I see any of those raised to is a 1, so it is what it is. So again, I look at my first factor, uh, my first term. I have the x plus 2, so I need the x, so I end up with 2 times x. For my second one, I have all of the LCD, so my numerator stays the same. And for my last one, I have the x, I don't have the x plus 2. So 1 times x plus 2 is x plus 2. Again, I'm going to actually do out the addition. Notice that I'm subtracting this entire numerator. So I have 2x minus 3 plus x. I have a double negative there. Plus x plus 2. I put all my x's together. I put my coefficient, my constants together. And I end up with 4x minus 1 over my LCD, which is x times x plus 2. Again, I look at it. 4x minus 1, I can't simplify that, I can't factor that, therefore I can't simplify, and I'm done. The next one, we have 5 over 6y plus 3, minus 3 over 4 plus 8y plus 2. I can pull out a GCF for both of my denominators, and I end up with 5 over 3 times 2y plus 1, minus 3 over 4 times 1 plus 2y plus 2. So for my LCD, I have a 3, I have a 4, and I have a 1 plus 2y. Notice 1 plus 2y and 2y plus 1 are the same, so I don't need to do it twice. Okay, I do have the 3 and the 4, so that will be 12. So 12 times my 2y plus 1, or 1 plus 2y. Again, it doesn't matter, they're the same thing. So for my uh, first term, I don't have the 4, so I'm going to be multiplying by 4. For my second term, I don't have the 3, so I'm going to multiply by 3. My third term, I don't have any of it, so I'm going to multiply by the entire thing. Okay, and that's exactly what I just had written. Again, we're going to simplify it, so I have 20 minus 9 plus 2 times 12 is 24, 24 times 2y is 48y, 24 times 1 is 24. Combine my like terms, which in this case are my constants, and I end up with 48y plus 35 over my LCD, 12 times 2y plus 1. And then our last one, 2x plus 1 over 3x squared plus 3x, plus x over 9x squared plus 18x plus 9. My first term, I have a GCF of 3x. I'm going to take that out. My second term, I have a GCF of 9. I'm going to take that out. Then I still have a um, trinomial. Right? I'm going to have x squared plus 2x plus 1. This guy I can also factor, that's x plus 1 squared. Okay. So my LCD, I have an x, I have an x plus 1 squared, and I have a 3 and a 9, but my 9, remember, is 3 squared. So it's the same factor, 3 and 3, but I do have it squared. So I have 9, which was, again, 3 squared x, x plus 1 squared. So for my first term, I have 3 of the 9, so I still need a 3. I have the x, I have 1 of the x plus 1's, so I need another x plus 1. For my second term, I have the 9, I have the x plus 1 squared, so I just need the x. I'll do it out. We have 2x plus 1 times 3 times x plus 1. 
So that's going to be a binomial times a binomial. So make sure you um, uh, multiply that out correctly. This guy, of course, is just x squared. So you should get 7x squared plus 9x plus 3. And if you didn't actually do it, pause the video, do it out, and make sure you do get 7x squared plus 9x plus 3. Again, this is a trinomial that I cannot factor, so I'm just going to leave it. It's simplified as best as I can. Okay. So make sure you read through the book, try the homework, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.